My name's Ian. We live in Keradigian. We already have uh, solar panels and a windmill uh, grid connected uh, under the old FIT system. And we wanted more power to be able, enable us to be completely off grid and to uh, use the grid when we needed to. Uh, Lee from Off Grid Installer has been able to give us that. And uh, we're very pleased with the system as it stands. We have now 42 kilowatts of batteries of storage and four kilowatts on the roof, five kilowatt windmill and 15 kilowatts of generation in the field, in the top field, uh, which we'll show you shortly. This is our turbine, uh, five kilowatt escra. And these are the panels that Lee put in for us. We're in the process of uh, matting out around the panels at the moment. And uh, hopefully we'll have that done within a couple of weeks before the growing really starts. What effectively we've got here, we've got 36 panels. Um, we've got a southwest facing array there, which you can see, uh, the very long one. Uh, that's uh, 18 panels there. We've got another nine panels, which are exactly south facing. And then just behind those, there's another nine panels, which are southeast facing. Uh, like I've said in other videos, we split the generation up um, because the batteries will get fully charged. Nowhere for the power to go on this particular job. The customer is not allowed to export any more than 8.68 8 kilowatts. So, um, we're not allowed to send any more exported energy back onto the grid above that. So um, by having a mixed generation, but also due to the lie of the lay of the field, we couldn't have them all south facing because if we got closer towards these trees over here, they would create more shadow and shade. Um, so effectively we um, did the best fit we could. Um, and you'll see there's over there, there's uh, another four kilowatt grid connected solar array, which is already here along with the five kilowatt um, Ishka wind turbine, which has just started to spin. Um, so the system can see when these are generating power and the inverter can take that power through the inverter on the AC side and put the power into the batteries. These panels are connected DC, so they put the power directly into the batteries. So here we are in the plant room. We've got 12 lithium ion phosphate batteries, the US 3000 Cs, giving you around 42 kilowatt hours of storage power there's your 15 kva inverter with your color control screen and your two solar controllers those armored cables there go all the way back to the solar arrays you've seen in the field uh, they're twin trackers so you got two strings of panels per controllers uh, we had to reconfigure the mains on this one so they're literally the main supply is now here well the way this works is we've got a bypass switch so this will bypass to back to the mains if there's ever an issue with the system. So all the incoming main supply comes in off one armoured cable and all the outgoing power comes in off the other. Um, this way, um, if the grid goes down, the Quattro disconnects from the grid and it acts like a UPS system, which means uninterruptible power supply. And looking at the colour control screen, you can see at the moment, the batteries, there's 569 watts coming out of the batteries. The uh, the new solar we installed, which is in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, is generating 265 watts. You can see the existing PV is generating, the grid-type PV is generating 39 watts. Let's go back to pages. Uh, the critical loads is the power that's being used in the house. You can see there's only 25, 30 watts coming off the grid and you can see those little blue dots moving that that gives you an indication of the way the power is flowing um, again links distributors all your fuses and uh, are in there for the battery solar controller and inverter um, and that is the system obviously we've got an insulated lid to go on the battery box but for the purpose of the video we've got it uncovered so you can see um, everything that we've done oh yeah these are uh, fuse switch disconnectors so you've got a bs88 fuse in there um one is obviously for the shed which is here that goes up to the consumer board there you can see that one is for the summer house which is halfway up the field and the other one is for the house this gives us discrimination so 
if one of the circuit boards trips in one in one of the locations it doesn't trip the whole property out obviously you're able to isolate each of these by turning the master breaker off and if there's an issue with any of the armoured someone cuts through it then the bs88 fuse blows and of course with me an electric car i can charge it eight months of the year no problems at all all off the solar panels in the field <laughs>